Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Ryan Ponce and I am here to discuss another Excel and a macro trick. Have you ever tried to check if a certain cell has a formula? You might have just selected the cell and press F2 or just check it out in the formula bar. What if there's a thousand rows to check? Will you do the same and check it one at a time? Here's a trick that I want to share. And we'll create a function. But what is a function? A function is also called a procedure. It's not a sub-procedure, but it is a function procedure. We'll go ahead and create our own. But before creating one, um, let me just discuss this sample data that I have. This is just to check if each employee is present or absent based on the formula. Now, some of the formulas here have been removed. But we have a total of 212 rows that we need to check one at a time if we don't have or if we don't create a function. So let's go ahead and try creating a function. You go to developer tab and the visual basic editor. We'll add a module. And instead of starting with a sub, we'll type in function. Now, later on, you can just copy this function and try it on your own. So just add a note. Function to check if the cell has a formula. Let's go ahead and try. I'll try using the formula here on C column equals has formula and we're checking B2. So if the cell has a formula, it would then give us or return true. But if it doesn't have a formula, it will return false. Now, I have filtered everything that has resulted into false. And there's a total of three. Now, um, if we check on it, it doesn't have a formula. It's just a plain text on B30. B191 and B193. Doesn't have a formula. Now, there's another trick on this. Instead of naming your function as has formula, you can rename it to any other text that you'd like. I'm going to try using my first name. Go back to Excel and try using my first name. So a function name Ryan has been created and that is to check if the cell has a formula and it gives us the same result. Thanks for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel for more Excel and macro tutorials.